Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at creating responsive layouts with React Native. We're going to create this simple uh, profile mockup with a top part, a center part and a bottom part with flex items that are lined uh, along the x-axis. Um, and this mockup scales itself no matter the dev device, so it will always be look the same no, no matter the device uh, height if you're on iPhone or Android or tablet uh, it's it's always gonna look the same and behave the same thanks to uh, flex which make it makes it uh, responsive so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new project I'm gonna delete all the, the code so we can start over from the beginning like that and also I created this project with the create react native app command so if you haven't started your new project yet, go ahead and do it. Um, we're gonna start by just creating a view that's gonna work as our main container. We're gonna cr uh, create all elements inside this view. Let's give it a style of, uh, let's just call it container. And the container is gonna be, we're gonna give it flex one, which means it's always gonna be full width and full height. The entire container is going to start here and stop here. It's going to be full width and full height and uh, no matter the device, so it scales automatically. Now, if I would add another container, like below here, right here, and also give it a style of flex one, neither of the components would take up the full height or full width. Instead, they would share the both uh, the height and the width. So they would be split by two. <clears throat> but we're not going to do that now, since we already have this uh, topmost component at the top, the container. We're just going to keep it at, at flex one, so it will contain the entire device. Next thing we want to do, we're going to create the uh, top part right here. Starts here and goes down there. It's going to be 45% height and uh, it's gonna scale itself as well no matter the device so create a new view give it a style of, we can call it top <clears throat> and inside this we're gonna create also this little circle which can contain a profile picture or something like that so create a new a new uh, view give it a style of uh, let's call it profile image Like that. So let's go ahead into the style sheet and create the um, styles for the top part. So as I said, we're gonna give it a height of 45%. And this is gonna be, of course, along the y-axis. We're gonna also give it an uh, line items center, because we're gonna add content in it, the circle. We're also gonna add justify content. Set it to center. Also, let's give it a background color. I'm going to explain these properties in just a second. I'm just going to add this, some kind of color, 98D2C1. Like that. So, also let's create the um, profile image style. Give it a width of, uh, we can call it 140, height. Give it uh, 140 as well. Let's give it a border radius uh, 100, that means it's going to be a perfect circle. And also a border width. Can give it just 4. And a border color, which we can set to uh, FFF, which is white. And also a background color. It doesn't really matter, this is just. To have something to look at while we're creating the actual layout. Let's reload them later, see what we got. Uh, an error, let's see, 26. Oh. So, let's reload it again and see what we got. 
and there we go so now we get the top part taking up always going to take up 45 percent of the y-axis no matter the device um, and what this does align items it has to buy content which we're given to the container of the top part it's it's gonna center its shell components so this the profile image it's gonna center it uh, both along the y-axis and the x-axis which is what we want so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new view for the center part let's give it a style of uh, center and it's not gonna contain anything we're just gonna leave it like that let's create the style for it we can give it a height of uh, 10% and also give it a background color yes so we can see what we're working with we can give it 7fb like that so let's reload them later so now we got the top part here taking up 45% of the y-axis we got the center part taking up 10% and then we're just going to add the bottom part, which is going to take up 45%. That will actually make the center part uh, perfectly centered along the y-axis, which is what we want in this case. So let's go ahead and create the bottom part. Let's create a new view. We can give it a style of bottom. <clears throat> Like that. Also, let's go ahead and create the style sheet for the bottom. So, as I said, it's going to be 45% height. And we're going to give it a. We can wait with it. Let's give it a background color right now. Uh, let's give it just like that so we can see it. I'm going to reload the emulator to see what happens. So there we go, we get uh, the part, part, top part taking up 45%, center part from 45% to 55%, and the remaining uh, area is taken up by the bottom element with a 45% height. So nothing strange going on there, but this will work on every device and will look exactly the same, even if you're turning the device or whatever you're doing. I'm just going to change the background color back to FFF. Now what we want to do is we want to add some items inside the bottom. And we want to display them uh, as flex items wrapped in a row. So we got one item here, one item to the right, maybe one item below, and one item to the right of that one, to the last one right here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bottom style sheet and we're gonna add the uh, flex direction which we're gonna set to row now the row is the opposite of column the row will uh, give give our items inside bottom element um, it will center them uh, not center them it will put them on the y-axis uh, no sorry along the x-axis next to each other if we would specify column, which is default, they will be st stacked vertically along the y-axis. But we don't want that, so we're going to give it a flex direction of row. We're also going to give it a, what's called a flex wrap. We're going to give it wrap. This means that the items are not forced into a single line. They can be uh, placed on multiple lines below each other so also let's give it some padding we can give it a padding of five and uh, yeah that's it for the bottom part now we're just going to create some items inside the bottom part so we had to create a new view give it a style of let's see we can call it bottom item and um, oops 
view and inside the bottom item let's create another view which is gonna be the inside of the bottom item and give it a style of uh, bottom bottom item uh, inner like that so now we're gonna create the style sheet for the bottom item and the bottom item inner so for the bottom item we can work with the percentage right now we can give it a width of 50% uh, so two per row two items bottom items per row uh, also let's give it a height of 45% or 50% uh, sorry uh, also let's give it some padding so we get some spacing in between them and uh, let's create the styling for the bottom item inner uh, bottom item inner which we're gonna set to flex one so it's gonna take up actually the entire part of its parent which is the bottom item which it has a width of 50. so let's set it to flex one and we can give it a background color just so we can see it too we can give it almost black 21 29 29 and let's reload and see what we got yeah so you can see now this is we have just added one item but but it's 50 percent width plus a padding of five on each side on top of that this entire white container has a padding of five on top of it so let's go ahead we can go to the um, bottom element and yes uh, let's copy we can create four of these bottom items like that and let's roll now we should see them stacked correctly yes as you can see right now so that's how to use the flex direction and also this is responsive and will work no matter the size of the device so that's a quick tip on how to create responsive layouts with react native bye bye